Hey guys, this is Alexander from Vnish Mining Software Company and today I'll explain about integ integration of our new firmware named 203 firmware for 17 series integration using two ways uh, integration uh, via SD card and integration via web interface upgrading from earlier Vnish version so we start our work from preparing the SD card. We must do to the SD card uh, format in format FAT32. Now we're going to Vnish official website to the downloads and here we prepared four repositories for every version of 17 series. We're going to S17 series and we see here few files. The next, the first file is explaining about the installation via SD card. The second file is our file, we must download it. And the third file is uh, the firmware for installation via web interface for upgrading from earlier of niche versions. Now we unzip the downloaded file go into his directory and we make copy of all these files to formatted SD card don't forget uh, after integration via SD card, the password is not root, is admin. The login is like usual root. Now we must insert to uh, the, uh, the SD card to the machine. and we're going to turn on our machine. You see uh, two lights, the red one and the green one, they must uh, off after a few seconds. That means that uh, ASIC got the SD card and the integration process is started. After few, after something about half minute, the uh, the lights will blink. Highly, highly recommended to wait two minutes before you turn in the ASIC off. After two minutes, you can turn it off and uh, it will work. Okay, now the integration we are uh, upgrade from earlier version. We go into Vnish website, go into downloads, we find in our repository. And we download the web version, this version using for upgrade only if you have niche firmware of, on your machine. Now we're going to upgrade. Must keep this, uh, the settings must be kept. Now we're going to find our firmware and we install it. Okay, the installation process uh, will take something about two minutes.
Now our ASIC running on new firmware and very important if you can turn it off and on physical better to do it. If you cannot do it and you have some problem with the firmware go to upgrade and do reset to default. Thank you for attention.